Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to fix a flat tire and replace the tube. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this before, and I don't know how to do it. I mean, I, I know the basics, but I don't know, just say I don't know how to do this. So the, tire, the bike we're going to be fixing is this bike, my dirt jumper. The tire is actually, the front tire is flat, as you guys can see, it's kind of a pretty distinct puncture. It's extremely flat, and I need to fix it. So, let me show you guys. It looks like it's close. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front tire off, show you guys how punctured it is. I'm thinking what happened is so, like, so I was at Valmont when this happened. And so there's a bunch of dirt and stuff in the tires, so I'm thinking something uh, with the dirt, like a rock or something, got pushed in, punctured the tube. Um, but I'm not sure, so uh, I gotta grab my tools, so I'll show you guys what I'm gonna use. Alright, so here's our tool kit, which we've got tubes, all this stuff, we've got Allen wrenches. Uh, I, I think that's an Allen wrench, I'm not sure though. Or chain lube. We've got there's all sorts of stuff. We've got a bar trimmer. So what I'm gonna use today is I'm gonna use so this is a 26 inch tire. As you can see right there, 20, 26. So we're gonna use that. And we're also going to use these. So basically, what these are, so if I can get them apart. Ugh, here we go. So basically, if you don't know, so what you do with this is you can get under the rim right here and pull the tire basically off the rim, get the bead out. So you do this, then you can uh, pull the rim or the tube out, replace it, all this stuff. And all the spokes and all this, it's completely fine. All right, so we got our tire removers and we got two. I'm not actually a tire sealant and I'm like, Praying to, I'm just praying that I don't need to use sealant because, like I said, I don't know how to do this. So, basically, um, I know. So, first, I'm going to take off the tire cap of the rim. So, this is the kind of the thing that this cap comes off, and this is how you hook it up. And then, ugh. I'm just going to. that pop that's the bead coming out of the tire so now I got part of the rim you can see part of the rim right there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these tire things and I'm gonna get under under here and try and grab onto the rim so now this is under here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just continue on So this part right here is connected to the tube inside. And so basically it's connected by this little uh, bolt right here that goes right here, keeps it sturdy. So I gotta take it off. There. All right, so I got that little bolt off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it to the tube. So, tube is out. So this is the 
two right here. So this is what goes underneath the tire. This is kind of what keeps your whole tire inflated. It's not the actual tire. With the tubeless tires, um, my dad's full suspension is tubeless. So basically, you're just pumping air into the rim and the tire. But with a non-tubeless tube in, you're pumping air into the tube. The tube expands. That tube expands the tire, and yeah. So basically, now this is off, I can look for any punctures. Does not look like there's any punctures, so it's most likely just a pinch flat. Yep, no punctures. So, I'm still going to replace the tube, but this tube is, it could, it's still good. Um, different from this one you can kind of see so basically this a the little tube just goes inside of here and it just gets locked on and you can pump tires in there but with this tube you got to unscrew this little part up here but don't unscrew it fully because now when you do when you do unscrew it this what this thing does is it will you can kind of push down on this and all the air air is going to come out so I'm going to leave that here we go. I'm gonna attempt to okay, what's the hole right there. So, I'm gonna attempt to put this rear back in this one. Put the tire still in there. Oh my god, yes!
and the tube's back in there. Okay, now I just gotta pump it up. Two hours later. I finally pumped it up to 60. Um, as you can see, the measure bar is at 60 and it's holding air. So I am honestly so surprised that I did this. I was not expecting to know how to do this, but apparently I do. And it only took me about 20 minutes, surprisingly. So I don't know. It's a uh, it's fun though. You just gotta, I was kind of guessing most of the way though. Cause I've seen a few videos of people putting their, um, or just people fixing their bikes all together, building them, putting new seeds and, or seeds, beads in. And yeah, this was, a, this was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be making more of these because now it's starting to get winter and I'm not going to have, or the bike parts aren't really gonna be open, so probably just gonna be doing a bunch of bike maintenance videos. I'm not sure, it depends on what this winter's gonna be like, but yeah. Right. So dad's gonna give me a, like a grade on how, based on how I did, so. A dad score? Yeah, a dad score, let's see. Let's, let's check it out. Is this tight? That's, I, that's tight. As tight as I could get it, yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty good. What's the uh, tire pressure? Sixty. Sixty. Yep. And I have video proof. I pumped it up to sixty. <laughs> Did you hear the pops when you uh, put the tire back on? No, I was I was really expecting that, but I, I couldn't. I didn't hear any pops. There was like pops. nothing. Looks like it's on there all the way. That score is A plus, sir. I'm impressed. <laughs> nice. And it only took, I can't believe, but what was that, two, two and a half hours or so? <laughs> no, it only took me about 20 minutes, probably. That was pretty fast. Nice job. 20 to 30 minutes. Great work. That, I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult than it actually was. So after I fixed up my front tire, I decided, let's go take this out for a ride at Valmont. So I went to Valma, I hit up large, did a new jump today, and yeah, it worked perfectly fine, it was good, and I'm actually yeah. really impressed with myself. So, I got a bunch of clips here, I didn't actually bring the GoPro, but this is just going to be phone footage from my dad, so let's see.
so that was um that was really fun actually Valmont was really fun I was kind of scared at first because I was like I thought that my uh my tire was gonna blow out because it definitely didn't look like it was on all the way but it was on all the way and I actually surprisingly did a really good job I was actually doubting myself but now I mean I know how to do it now so yay I'm not really much of like a technician kind of guy the building I'm just the rider who doesn't know anything about putting the bike together um but yeah you gotta learn some one of these days but yeah it was a it was really fun and so it's uh winter now it's actually snowing right now so yesterday was the only day we got to ride so luckily uh it was really fun so yeah i'm not sure what videos i'm gonna do because the bike parks aren't going to be open for a little bit but i've got extra clips that i took um before this so should have enough for a few videos until i gotta scrap something together but yeah if you guys enjoyed please smash that like button subscribe to our channel leave me a comment because i reply to everybody and uh keep hitting it keep crushing it we'll see you guys in the next video peace